Social media, it seems like everybody's doing it. Really, truly everyone. There are 1 billion active users on Instagram, 1.6 billion on Facebook, and 1.8 billion on YouTube. And that's just a few of the platforms out there. Americans spend two to three hours every day on social media. Will we ever stop scrolling? Well, a new proposed law aims to stop your mindless scroll and limit your screen time. It's stirring up quite a bit of controversy. So the background is this. A senator in Missouri, Josh Hawley, introduced a bill to stop social media apps from employing techniques that encourage those addictive behaviors. In this bill, it's called the SMART Act, Social Media Addiction Reduction Technology Act. The law as written would stop auto refill and infinite scroll. The user would have to click to view more content. The law would also make companies put 30 minute time limits on social media use, but then the user could go in and remove or adjust those limits. The question I have is, how do you all feel about this? <laughs> Should the government regulate social media to curb addiction? Everyone in the audience, you have the tablets. So cast your vote right now, yes or no. And then we're going to, of course, discuss this because- we sure are. <laughs> let's show how our audience voted here. 80% of you said, no, the government should not regulate social media to curb addiction. Well, you, you all love, you all you love guys your like social your media. Yeah. Yeah. And what's crazy so is I guarantee you, I guarantee you, there are a few of you in the audience who had trouble putting your cell phones away today, right? Yeah. To sit in our audience, yeah. obviously, you're not in here scrolling. There and people struggle, struggle with scroll. that. Yeah, well, I mean, just think about this scale. The world population is 7.7 .7 billion. All three of those platforms you named have more than one billion active users. I mean, that's crazy when you yeah. think about. And, they, and, and we're going to get the into world. it. I mean, we're doctors, yeah. so we're going to talk about the health repercussions of too much social media, and they're real. But mm -hmm. it comes down to you can't tell people not to engage in a certain. So you're so you're with the audience. It's like, you're, you're it's audience, like saying, then. okay, alcohol is illegal, drugs are are, are illegal. Well, some well drugs the thing are. is, the government gambling. doesn't regulate those things, Drew. The government, believe it or not, regulates that. It Smoking? regulates gambling. Well, okay, it regulates well, all put, addictive behavior. Many addictive yeah, behaviors. Yeah, okay, but your point about a, the regulation is they're regulating it in the name of public health for young people. That's right. So I think yes. this is a really interesting well, question for the parents. Well, then let's put a warning on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that we know. For we're going to get into it. As I said, there are some definite health right. issues associated. Well, and let's put a warning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And this is part of the issue because we're talking about addictions, regulating addictions. And this is a type of potentially a process addiction, like gambling like internet gaming. And in this case, I think for young people especially, we've seen studies where even just the amount of likes will light up a region of their brain called the nucleus accumbens, and that's associated with the reward circuits. And in young people, in teenagers, it's especially sensitive. So we're worried that if you light it up a little bit too much, it creates that addictive cycle where you're constantly gonna go to it.